welcome friends welcome back so far what we have seen is uh, distance of a line from a point distance between two parallel lines but the question now we can ask is is that the only distance that we can seek from a distance of as a distance of a point from the line to demonstrate this let me give you one example where the paradigm will change as uh, paradigm will change as we will compare several points set of points and we will compare the distance from those set of points to the line and the paradigm change that i have me, uh, i want to say is uh, you will think differently how the distance will change from a line so let us take one simple example this example uh, is related to a small experiment that you might have conducted in your lab it's a physics experiment which says v is equal to ir that is voltage is equal to current times the resistance voltage is equal to current times the resistance you all know this is a law this is the law of physics where voltage is measured in volts current is measured in amperes and resistance in ohms now the experiment that a physics teacher asked you to conduct is you have to verify this law hmm? or using this law can you compute the resistance of a particular equipment so now what you will do is you will actually relate this with our equation of a straight line so if i want to relate this with equation of a straight straight line then what will happen you see v is voltage so on the right hand side it you can replace this voltage by y then the current that is uh, the current that is delivered to the circuit or the equipment you can uh, denote it by say x and you want to determine the resistance which is an unknown so you can put it as m and what is the constant the constant is 0 so you can relate this with the equation y is equal to mx where y is the voltage x is the current and m is the resistance and the whole purpose is to determine this resistance over here m okay so this are uh, the, the setup is ready the lab technician has uh, arranged the setup and you just have to go and perform the experiment and verify this phenomena right so the catch over here is you want to determine what is a resistance so uh, the, the lab technician was very kind he told you he has given you a prior information that there are only two kinds of resistors our lab has one has a resistance of 1 ohm another one has a resistance of 2 ohms this is the information that is given to you also notice the fact that this line is passing through the origin that means 0 0 is one point why 0 0 should be a one point because there is no current then there is no voltage this is our assumption so 0 0 is one point and this line is passing through the origin so if i look at a mathematical theory that i have studied so far i can safely assume if i get one reading if i get one reading from that circuit that will help me in understanding the behavior and i can safely go and tell what is the resistance of this particular equipment let us try to see how that uh, how this assumption works out over here now this is the data you have conducted some experiments you have observed some data so it's like Uh, you have passed a current of one. You have passed a current of one ampere, and you received the output of two volts. Here, you can say you have passed the current of five amperes, and you have received the output which is four four volts, okay? and so on and so forth. So this is how it is working on. Now we want to identify what is the correct what is the correct line that will fit because I know. from theory that this is a line passing through the origin so in particular if i take this line which is 1 comma 2 and 0 comma 0 then i will get the equation of line using uh, slope point form or point point form we also know that the intercept is 0 0 so slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c c where c is 0 
you can easily see the line that passes through this point is y is equal to 2x but with the same register you also got these readings okay so let us see based on the lab technician's knowledge if we draw two lines they will be seen they will be visible like this interesting so if i take only one observation and stop my experiment i will get the line y is equal to 2x but if i go for more experimentation then i am getting a line which which seems to be similar to y is equal to x now what what is it that is happening here which line is a better fit so i need to answer this question because this line actually passes through the point 0 0 and y is equal to 2x this line is not passing through any of the points so which line is better that's a natural question that comes to our mind so we will try to answer this question mathematically so how will i answer this question mathematically let us zoom in let us zoom in and consider our notion of a perpendicular distance what is a perpendicular distance you will actually drop a perpendicular from this point to this point this point to this point and you will compute the distance of a line is that distance a correct distance geometrically it is a correct distance that is a distance of a line but in this context that we are taking a real world context what is happening here is if i pass a current of let us say this was 5 so 6 and 7 7 amperes hmm, my line is saying this this particular line is saying i should get a voltage of 7 volts but actually i got a voltage of 8 volts okay so now i may not be interested if i drop a perpendicular from this point to this point which may because this line is y is equal to x it may cross this line at point 0.7.5 point i am not interested what is the value of y at point 0.7.5 point i should be interested in what is the value of y at 0.7 because i have passed the current of 7 amperes not 7.5 amperes so the perspective of distance changes here because i want to find the distance for this particular value of x from the line and the point how to go about then we will not consider a perpendicular distance this is a paradigm shift that i was talking about at the beginning of the video so now I will not consider this thing, but I will consider this distance that is a vertical distance, the distance that is parallel to y axis that is what I will consider. So once I consider the distance that is parallel to y axis, I have to con consider these distances. Okay. So again coming back to the question, which line is the best fit line? I can consider similar distances over here and I can consider similar distances over the blue line. So which line is the best fit? We will try to answer this question mathematically. So mathematically we have seen that perpendicular distance will not fetch me any result directly. So I need to consider the distances that are parallel to y axis. Okay. So let us formalize this in a real terms. This is the data that was shown in the picture. So for one ampere, you have for one ampere you have got two uh, two uh, two volts current. For five amperes you got four volt current. For seven you got eight. Eight you got nine. Nine you got eight point seven and ten you got nine. So there there is no direct relation between y. Is, you cannot figure out the y is equal to x is visible over here. But something is there which is making that line pass through all the pass very close to all these points right this is the uh, this is the demonstration this is how so y is equal to 2x is way apart and we are assuming that the hypothesis given by the lab technician is correct so i want to mathematically formulate this problem there are two lines y is equal to x and y is equal to 2x both pass through the origin so current 0 voltage 0 hypothesis is correct okay now you have the set of observations x i's and y i's 
I want to compute which one which line is better. So let us try to see if I consider <coughs> the sum of the differences. If I consider sum of the differences, there will be that is uh, what do I mean by sum of the differences? If I consider y is equal to x is a valid equation of line, then I will consider yi minus xi yi minus xi that is the distance between the line y and x because here y is equal to x if I input xi uh, uh, my point that I will get is also xi because y is equal to xi and the actual output that I have got is yi. So I will consider yi minus xi as one coordinate and yi minus 2xi as another difference because that will be a point over here y i minus 2 x i it will be a point over here okay and then but uh, the if i just consider the differences the problem is the differences may cancel each other some differences may be positive some differences may be negative so i don't want those differences to cancel out each other so what i will do is i will take the square of them so in particular we can define the sum square difference that is summation over i equal to 1 to 1 to 6 yi minus xi square and yi minus 2 xi square. Now what this distance uh, what this difference is calculating it is calculating the difference between yi and xi in the first case and yi and 2 xi in the second case that is the error that we have made when we actually saw the output or the uh, error the equipment has made or in our recording the error which is made in whatever way that, that is the error made. So yi minus xi square and yi minus 2xi square. Right? Now what do you think which one will be better? The one that will be better which will have a least difference. So if you, you can actually put in these values and compute these differences and square them sum over them you will get the first difference is 5.09 and the second difference is 328.49. Right? In this situation, our what should be our conclusion? Our conclusion should be that the difference where the difference is least that is 5.09. This must be a better line as compared to this line. That essentially reduces to a conclusion that y is equal to x is a better line as compared to y is equal to 2x which is pretty evident intuitive from the figure as well. So you can see this figure you can see this chunk of points that are located around y is equal to x and therefore the resistance of the equipment that is given to us must be 1 ohm that should be our conclusion right. So I want to introduce a notion of this kind to handle the real world problems. So let us see what is that notion. In this case you, you were very lucky the lab technician has given you the set of points or the resistance values. There are only two resistance values but real life is not that lucky. So here there they may not give you the set of values. So and you want to find out what is the best line that is passing through these set of points. In that case, this notion of a distance of a set of points from a line may help. So what is this notion? First of all, we know one notion is perpendicular distance. But that perpendicular distance we uh, may, not, may not be of much use when we are coming to the real world perspective. In that case, we talk about the distances that are parallel to y axis from the line distance of a points that are parallel to y axis. So in particular if you have been given n points y i x i y i i equal to 1 to n you just plot this equation y is equal to m x plus c. Now remember here this equation is valid when it is not a vertical line. If it is a vertical line this equation is not valid and if it is a vertical line you do not need such a complicated procedure to estimate it. So y is equal to mx plus c is our uh, standard equation of line which is a slope point form or slope intercept form to be precise and then 
we will define we have defined as in the previous case we have defined the squared sum of the distance of the set of points from the line hmm. so in in the previous case yi minus xi but in this case what should it be yi minus mxi minus c the whole square right? and you have to sum over all of them so summation over i equal to 1 to n yi minus mxi minus c square so we call this as sum squared error or sum squared distance sum squared error so the abbreviation is sse now the fact is when we are handling a general problem we don't know what will be m and what will be c so our goal should be if i want to find the best line if i want to find the best line passing through these points what should be my goal right so this raises two questions if i have some square i want to know the value of m i want to know the value of c so given the set of points how to find a line that fits the given set of points remember now i am not uniquely determining the line i am saying what that fits the given set of points the line may not pass through any of the points in this particular case in other words y is equal to mx plus c so what is the equation of the line that best fits the given set of points this will mean i need to find an equation of a line y is equal to mx plus c and then the question can be reframed into two questions that is what do i mean by the value of m and c that best fits the line and then i have to define what is a best fit what is a best fit according to me obviously the best fit according to me will be the sum squared error minimization okay. so if i define sse in this manner then i want to find the values of m and c that minimize sse but this is right now beyond our scope as so far we have handled only linear terms but if you look at these terms they appear to be in the form of squares of something so we need to devise some strategies in order to find this minimization for m and c so we that we will see in few upcoming videos of the course thank you